It's important to note that I did not have any sponsorship. I bought all the filters myself. Nobody is paying me absolutely anything to talk good or bad about the products that I have in front of me. This is just me doing my own research and sharing my results with you. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a couple of Fram filters that I opened and the very disappointing surprise that I found. So let's get this video on the way. We've all seen the videos of people uh, opening Fram filters. So out of curiosity, I uh, gave myself the task of buying and opening the Fram filters that I have on my local auto parts store. These are for my uh, 2015 Silverado and these are for my 1992 Honda Nighthawk. I've already opened them with the filter cutter. Just as a baseline, I will uh, open a filter that I consider to be not low quality, but very low cost, very cost effective filter. This is a poor later filter. This is also for my Honda Nighthawk. And you can see, this is a cartridge. Very nice, very good quality cartridge. A lot of folds equally spaced between themselves. So this is what I would consider a baseline filter that I would actually use on my vehicles. Let's open up a frown filter. This is not looking good. I am sad to see that the meme that these filters have uh, become, it's actually true. If I open the Silverado filter, It's like the same. Everything is made out of like paper, while this cartridge is made of metal. Remember, this is the baseline of a decent filter. It's not even a contest here. If I wanted to compare the cheaper Fram filter from the ultra synthetic oil Fram filter, you can see that the construction on the outside is pretty much exactly the same. This is like the same part, same check valve material. I cut a little part of it to see what's inside and inside there is a mesh, like a metal mesh for some reason. And yeah, this is, this may be actually acceptable, but the, the quality of the assembly is just lacking very much. You can see that the glue is spilled all over the sides. And if I compare this to the motorcycle filters, you can see that there is actually a difference in the, in the check valves. The cartridges share the same uh, differences. This is a very short cartridge. This is a little bit better, but still it's not great. And compared to what I would call a very uh, decent filter, like the filtering area is just a, a no brainer. It's a, this is a no match. This is very disappointing for a number of reasons. If you see this filter from the outside, this has a very grippy uh, coating here, so you can push it and take it off easily without the need of tools. You can see there is a lot of holes here. This would indicate that it has a very good flow of oil, the same here in the expensive one. But once you open them up, I mean like, this is not acceptable. I would expect this out of a value craft or, or something because these filters are not even cheap. I mean like they're, they're, the price difference between these two is like not existent or maybe it, this one is even cheaper than that and this is so much better. It all boils down to, would I use them in my truck? This one, not a chance. The same thing goes with my motorcycle. Uh, would I use one of these? No, absolutely not. Would I use one of these? Probably if I didn't have absolutely any other choice. Maybe if I was like road tripping in Namibia or something like that, and this is the only thing they have, maybe I would go with one of these, but no, there are, there are just so better options and so uh, cheaper prices than in an oil filter that there is no, absolutely no way that this competes. So in a nutshell, all of the videos that you have seen of people doing front filter openings and so are true. The number of faults is fine, but the, the construction and the manufacturing of this piece is just lacking very much. And we haven't even talked about the pressure release valve on the bottom. The other filters are not as hard to 
to push us this one. There is actually no reason to use a Fram filter. Like the prices are not even low. This is a cheap filter and it's much better. This is like garbage construction with a jacked up price. So thank you very much for watching. This is pretty much everything that I wanted to share with you. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you like what you see in my channel, please subscribe. If you have comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, stay tuned for the unboxing and opening of the other brands of filters. Have a fantastic day.